turn us to thousands And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder, see the horizon Turn us to thousands on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, probably the most excited I've been for a video in a very long time and it's been highly requested. So since you guys know I have transformed my beauty room into more of a closet, which I've been wanting to do for a while now, finally had some time and got some help from my hubby and we finally did it and I'm so excited on the way it turned out. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. So doing a full closet tour, showing you everything in my beauty room and I can't wait, I'm so excited. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and yeah, if you guys wanna see my closet, just keep on watching. Just gonna start from outside of the room to show you absolutely everything today. Uh, so right here I have this wreath and this is from HomeSense. And yeah, let's go into my beauty room. So this is what it looks like from right when you walk in and I have three big large windows on this side. It's actually very sunny right now, uh, which is perfect to film this video. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I also, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. I will link down below the exact Ikea shelving units that I have. Um, so it's the Ikea packs. And if you actually Instagram that, you can see tons of different designs. I actually designed this whole layout myself. Me and Ryan actually recently redid the entire shelves. As you know, I'll insert a clip on what it used to look like and this is what it looks like now so it's completely different I just wanted it to be more like a closet uh, where I could hang my clothes and then display my purses and have it more lifestyle than what I had it uh, before so it definitely went through a massive change uh, so I'm just so happy on how it turned out I'm gonna start off with my suitcase right over here so do I actually use this no it's for decor and it's absolutely beautiful I found it off Amazon I just searched on Amazon vintage pink suitcase and this is what came up so I'll leave the link down below on the exact one that I found uh, but I just loved it I thought it was so adorable and then I also do have uh, just the adventure away it's a little bag tag so I thought that would be really cute just on the suitcase to display and then uh, right on top here, one of my favorite bags. This is the Neverfull uh, Louis Vuitton and then I can't remember what the, the pink print is called, um, but it was like one of the limited edition bags. And here I just have a keychain that I got from Henry Bendel. And then the other bag charm that I have on here, I just got from a local uh, jewelry boutique, which I thought was really cute. I really love the fluffy ones. And then inside I just have a bunch of random things in there. Uh, if you want to see my what's in my bag, I just uploaded that one before this video, so I will leave a link down below. Okay, so starting on this side here, this is probably my favorite drawer. And it's this one right here that has like all of my wallets and also my wallet on chain. So I'm just going to start on this side here. And I'll also leave a link below on this exact insert that you can add from the IKEA packs. Um, so I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff with this. I've seen people do like belts, ties, uh, you can do socks, you can really do whatever you want. But I, of course, wanted to display my wallets in here. I thought it'd be the perfect display for displaying larger wallets and then having the smaller ones in there. Um, so I do have some of my other wallets on the other side, which I'll show you after. Um, but right here, this I actually got with my bag. So it came in here. Uh, for free, which was awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can use this for makeup. You can use it as like a larger wallet when you're traveling. Um, it is quite, quite large. And then right behind that, I actually collect luggage tags. I love them so much. So all of these ones that I got are actually from HomeSense that come in sets. Um, so I just have these ones right here. So I use those ones all the time. My mom actually got me this little newlyweds box and I haven't put anything in here yet, but um, yeah, it's just wishes for the newlyweds and you can put like anything you want in here. It's got like a little pen, which is kind of, which is neat. 
So this I thought was so cute. I picked this up from Indigo and you can actually use it for your passport and your wallet and um, whenever you're traveling. So I thought that'd be the perfect little necessity and it's just adorable. So it says, hello, good times. And then right here, I got these pretty recently. These are the marble um, bag tags and or luggage tags and they're so pretty. I really have been obsessed with marble lately. So that's why I got those. And then right here, I have like all of my little uh, fluffy bag charms. So these ones are just really cute. Um, that I've had over the last few years and I actually just ordered some so I'll show you guys those in my next uh, bag video that I do and I plan on doing a full uh, bag collection so look out for that video it's coming soon also I'm out of here this is a, like a little passport case and I haven't even used it yet so I'm really excited to use that in the near future and then right here also I have this Kate Spade day planner so this right here is my newest bag so this is the wallet on chain I have the red one that I use every single day which is why I wanted to get the pink one um, now I was talking about this on my Instagram there's like a tiny little stain on it so I might actually return it and get a brand new one but I am obsessed with this bag so I will link it down below I don't know the exact name but I know that my favorite design is the rose ballerine and I'm obsessed with this design I think it's one of the prettiest that LV has ever done so I'll leave a link down below um, I'm just gonna call it wallet on chain for now and then right here this is the camera bag uh, so that's also very very pretty same design right here this is my all-time favorite wallet in the entire world and this is the multicolor LV and I got this this is my first LV purchase ever and I was so proud when I first purchased this I saved up for so long to buy it and uh, oh my goodness I was just so excited to get it and it's the one that has the pink on the inside here and I did get my initials engraved, um, so it's not going anywhere. I would never resell this. It's something that I can always keep. And the multicolor is actually my all-time favorite uh, design with LV. So I'm so sad that obviously it was discontinued so long ago because it's so hard to track down these days. But I do absolutely love that wallet and the fact that it's pink on the inside. And then right here we have a Henry Bendel wallet. Um, I don't use this all that often, but I was using it um, a few years ago when I was traveling and stuff like that because it's so large. And yeah, that is everything I have. I don't have anything in the back there yet. It's a little hard to grab and pull out, so I still don't even know what I'm going to put back there. Um, but that is everything that's in this little drawer. And then on top of that, I'm going to start on this side here. So we have this little picture frame of Ryan and I. This is actually from our wedding, and it's one of my favorite shots of us. Um, on the beach and we got married in Cabo and then right here that's from home sense glamour it never takes a day off I thought that was really cute you could put like rings on there and then this is from indigo so number one mom and then over here we have some books so this is the Coco Chanel this is from Amazon all in good taste by Kate Spade that's also I believe on Amazon as well or you can get it from like indigo Chanel the vocabulary of style I picked up off Amazon so that will be linked down below as well. And then on top, I just have this little bouquet of flowers. I got that from HomeSense. And right over here, this is actually a little sneak peek of new brushes I've been working on. So um, just very different than what I've normally done. And I wanted to display them and show you them in this video. And then also Skulls and Candy uh, Chanel brush holder, which is so pretty. And then right back there, we have another photo from our wedding day. And I think I got the frame from HomeSense as well. And I think it's Kate Spade because she does have a collection of um, photo frames. So I know I have a few from her. And uh, right over here, we have this little Ted Baker jewelry box. And I got this from Rhoda. And it's so pretty. I love anything rose gold. And Ted Baker has some of the nicest bags. And then right on here, this is a necklace that I got made from Olive and Piper. And it says me and Sophia my two sweet angels and right here we have two rings so the one in the back is for my mom and she got that to symbolize the girls and then this one I've had for a very long time and I just thought it'd be really cute to display all right and above that so I got this shelf right here which is also another one of my favorites cuz I love Louis Vuitton and right here we have a Louis Vuitton belt so funny story I actually bought this like the week I found out I was pregnant so I was like, uh oh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to wear this. So I, yeah, I bought this right around when I got pregnant. So I think I've worn it once. 
um, but it is a beautiful belt. It's light pink, and I'll link it down below on the exact one that I purchased. Um, so I got that when I went to Calgary, and it was just a really nice gift that I bought myself before the girls came. <laughs> and then right here, um, now I've had this print forever, I think for four or five years now, and I'm going to try very hard to find the artist because I think it's Mel C's Designs, but I'll link it down below once I find it, and it's just a really beautiful shot of um, a girl at her vanity, which is very me. I just, I think this is so beautiful. So, uh, yeah, I love that print. And then I also have a Chanel one on the other side that I'll show you after. And right here we have the multicolor makeup bag. This is my favorite makeup bag of all time. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy I got my hands on it. Just to show you what the inside looks like, it's pink on the inside just like the wallet, so I knew I had to get my hands on this. And I actually found this because everything multicolor is unbelievably hard to track down now, so I found this on Fashion File. And I'll leave a link down below because that's honestly one of the best pre-loved sites that there is, I find. Um, and I was so happy I found that because it's in perfect like mint condition like nothing no damages on it whatsoever so I was really happy to find that because I love the multicolor and they don't sell it at Louis Vuitton anymore so right back there we have a little pineapple decor and I love pineapples because of Maui that is where we got engaged and it just reminds me of Maui so that's why I have so many pineapples and then right here we have my new Louis Vuitton bag and I did a what's in my bag that's the last video I put up if you want to see what I put in what I would store into this bag. I had to look at my phone on the name because I told you guys I'm really bad with the names of bags, but it's the Montaigne MM Rose Ballerine. So it's that same uh, color and same print that I love from the LV collection. So I'm really in love with that bag. I think it's a great size, great everyday bag. Um, so yeah, now we are getting on to the next shelf right here. So I've got my YSL and my Louis Vuitton. So this bag right here is the Twist MM and I fell in love with like the color and the big logo in the front. I really love this bag and I saw the wallet first which I didn't get and then when I saw that they had the large bag I quickly got it. Um, so I yeah it's one of my favorite bags. It's definitely like a very heavy duty luxe bag uh, and I'm thinking about doing a bag review. If you want to see a what's in my bag or like a full bag review on this let me know because it um, is probably one of my favorite bags. And then next to that, I have the YSL bag. It's my only YSL that I have. I got that in Vancouver. I forget the name of the bag, but it will be linked down below. And uh, it's the only one I have, so you'll know which link. And it's more of like a dressier bag for sure. And um, I definitely got good use out of it when I lived in Vancouver. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I love the YSL logo as well. Okay, and above that, I have this little backpack that I got. You guys might have seen this in some of my previous videos. It's from Indigo, and it, I got it near Christmas time, and it was just so cute and fluffy, and I just thought it'd be a really um, nice bag to take out since I've been addicted to backpacks. It's just like the easiest thing to carry now that I have my girls. And right next to that, I display my white glam brush book and my pink glam brush book because um, it just reminds me of kind of where I started from, and those were my first glam books to ever launch. So, and they go with the color there's so well the white and pink theme that I have going on. All right, so that was everything on this side here. And I'm gonna move over to this side here. And also, I'm not gonna go through everything in my drawers. Uh, I will save that for another video or else this video would be like over an hour long or even longer than that. So I will um, show you guys, which it's a lot of makeup, uh, not so much like closet related things, it's more makeup. So I will save that for another video. But moving on to this midsection right here, of course I added a rod um, from Ikea to display clothing, which I really, really think turned out wonderfully. I love the way this looks. So at the very top shelf, I just have some shoes that I'm displaying. And as you can probably see and tell, I'm not much of a shoe girl. I know that's crazy to say but I'm definitely a handbag girl at heart and these are very typical of what I would wear in the summer I love throwing on a pair of wedges especially nude or pink they're my favorite so that is why I got those and then I actually bought to wear for my wedding day from Aldo and they were too high <laughs> the day of the wedding but I did have them in photo shots so it just reminds me of the wedding and they're so bedazzled and jeweled and gorgeous so I definitely love displaying them and then for the clothing I have up here, most of it is honestly just for display. Um, some of these pieces I uh, would obviously wear in the summertime. And then most of the hangers that I have right here are pearl hangers that I got from HomeSense, which are just so pretty. So I got the pink and the white ones. I'm just going to take this down to show you quickly because this is 
one of my favorite scarves. So this is the LV scarf that I have, and it's the only one I have from LV, so I will leave a link down below since I don't know the exact name. Um, but I was so excited to get it. It's got the rose gold lettering, and it's so pretty. And this also I bought when I went to Calgary and found out I was pregnant. So um, this and the belt, which I never really got to wear that often. Um, but yeah, I definitely, um, love this scarf so much. It's one of my favorites. And then right next to that, uh, this pink scarf I just got from Indigo and it's just a really nice big scarf. This shirt right here, I can't even remember where I got this. It was a long time ago, but it's one of my favorite tops, um, in the summertime. So that's what the pearl hangers look like right here, just so you can have a good look. And then right here we have this poncho that I got from Livion Rose, and I just thought it was so cute, and I love displaying it as well. It's just a really, really cute uh, warm piece to wear for the winter time. And then right here we just have this little suede cardigan, and I can't remember where I got this from. It was a while ago, but I do wear it quite a bit when I'm going out. Um, it's really nice just with like a cute little top and some leggings. And then right here, this I got from Hot Miami Styles, and I love it. I wore this actually when I was pregnant when we went away for my baby moon. And I wore it just with a bathing suit, and it's so pretty. It's lace. And so this scarf right here I got from Indigo. I find Indigo has really nice, like, accessories, and I know they've recently done that, and I shop there all the time for their accessories. So that's what it looks like on the inside here. It's got, like, that satin material. And then right here, this is from Evernew, and it's just a little fur vest and not real of course but um evernew is a really cute fashion store in vancouver they have really cute stuff for reasonable pricing so i usually shop there when i go to vancouver to visit and then lastly i got this from the bay so it's from a company called vera moda and i thought it was just a really cute uh like spring jacket i'll probably bring this out really soon uh once it warms up here but yeah it's nice it's light pink so working our way down here uh right in the center i have my books so uh, the first one here is from Amazon, and then the Chanel one is from Indigo. Louis Vuitton I got off Amazon, and then the Chanel is also from Amazon. And this here is probably like one of my favorite sections, and I just have my books. I have my fragrances. Uh, so this right here I got pretty recently, and it's a little diptyque candle. And then this actually came with one of my purses. It's like a little LV lock little flowers I have that is from Home Sense, and I love the white and the pink. And then right here I just have two really pretty fragrances and I loved this bottle, the rose cap, and I think it's Sylvan Della Court. I think that's how you pronounce the brand. And then right here they just sent me like this little fragrance as well, so I thought those would be really pretty for display. And then moving on right here we have my sweet baby girls. The frame is from Indigo. And it's one of my favorite photos of them. Look how small and tiny they were. And they're almost five months now. So I love keeping that little photo. And then right here we have Elsa Corsi jewelry. And she is in Vancouver. So she actually made my uh, wedding jewelry. So that's the bracelet I have for my wedding day. And then right here I have some little earrings. And this ring Ryan's mom gave me, the pink one. Um, so just really pretty keepsake jewelry that I have out um, on display. And then moving to the other side right over here. Uh, so this little fragrance holder, which I think you can put a candle in there. You can put whatever you want. But I put these little fragrances from Tom Ford. And I got that from HomeSense. And then right next to that, this was also a little set that I got uh, from HomeSense of decor. Uh, so I showed you guys the little glamour one I had on the other side. And then right here we have this little rose. I got that from my mom. And then the picture frame back here is from HomeSense. And then the photo, I cannot remember the artist, but there's so many you can find on like Etsy. Uh, so this one just has like a little Chanel bag, Valentino shoes, uh, Tiffany. And then right behind that, I actually have a flower bomb lotion, and that's one of my favorite scents, and I got it in a set. I use the perfume as well. And then right here we have a Dior primer. And that is everything on this shelf right here. Right below that, these are actually brand new inserts that I bought from Ikea. And I'll start off with this side right here. So we have a little Kate Spade wallet, and I got that as a gift from Rhoda. And then right in here, I like to keep my sunglasses. So we just uh, have some space in the back. And then a Kate Spade pearl necklace. And then those are from Too Faced, these ones here. And then these are Kate Spade. And clearly, I love my pink shades. <laughs> I do have a Tiffany & Co pair that I wear all the time in the summer um, that I don't have out for display, but I do have those as well. And then right here in the center piece, it's smaller, so I thought my watches would be really cool on this. 
um so that's what it looks like there and i'm just gonna put that back in there and then right here we have two rose gold watches from michael kors and then we have a rose gold olivia burton watch that i got from my cousins and then the watch right here is uh kate spade and i got that from my brother and it's got like little lashes on there it's so cute and i love keeping the little pillows i think it just looks really pretty as decor and then also it just keeps the watches very like secure and um in great shape so got that one and then right here this one i put my necklaces on so going from the very back here uh the pink one is also from elsa corsi i've got some tiffany and co I have some, uh, what are, Swarovski, and then also this was the headpiece I wore on my wedding day from Elsa Corsi. We have some Olive and Piper, so I did a collaboration with her actually, and that rose gold necklace was the uh, collab necklace we did. And here we have another pretty one from Olive and Piper. So just some really pretty jewels that I like to keep displayed. And then right here, this little jewelry box that I have is from Home Sense as well, which I thought was really cute. I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah, just a little necklace, but that's what it looks like. And I just keep it here. Love, I love the way this turned out. I think it looks so good. And all the drawers, like I said, will be in another video or else this video will be forever. Um, so I think I'll start with the pullout drawer since that's what I started with on the other side. This is also another little favorite area that I have. And I'll start out with my jewelry. So on this side here, this is mostly just costume jewelry. Um, this is actually another collaborative bracelet that I did with Olive and Piper. It was a unicorn bracelet that we did. And then right here, these were actually from Ryan's mom. And we have a Marc Jacobs bracelet, uh, miscellaneous. I don't know where I even got those from. Uh, this side here, we have a Fully Fully, Kate Spade, Kate Spade. And then I can't remember where I got that watch from. A lot of these items I've had for a very long time. Uh, so where I've got them from, I'm not sure. But if I do know, they'll be linked down below. And then right here we have some of my wallets. And this is a Prada box that I just kept. And then this was the wallet it came with. So that's just the one that I took to Vancouver with me recently. And I love it. It's just the perfect size. It's also got um, space on the inside here for like change which is perfect. And then this Louis Vuitton wallet I just picked up when I was in Vancouver and I thought it was so adorable. I didn't even know they had this. It's like the most petite wallet they have, which is the Zoe. And it's tiny. It's just a little baby and I'm so happy I bought it. It's just the perfect little wallet um, to carry around. So it holds all your cards. You can put cash in here, change. It's just so adorable. So I'm really happy that I picked that up. And um, yeah, that's one of my most recent wallets. Right here, this was from uh, Ryan for Christmas. And it's a beautiful bag. It's a wallet on chain and it's got like a really thick wallet. I also did an, a full unboxing. So the unboxing video will be linked down below. Um, and I mean, yeah, I did a full review on it. I love it. It's one of my favorite wallet on chain bags. And it's so classy and different. So that's what it looks like there. So you can have a nice little look at it. But yeah, I do, I have the chain on the inside of the bag. But you, if you want to see the full video, I do have it up on my channel. And then we have the compact wallet, rose ballerine color. And I love this wallet so, so much. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy I got it. This collection is so hard to find, honestly, um, to track this collection down because it's always sold out. That's what it looks like. It's really, really hard. So I was so happy to find that at... Um, the Toronto Louis Vuitton. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that is what it looks like in here. Also, I don't have anything in the back row there, so I do have some extra space. Um, but I just like putting some bracelets on here. I think it looks really cute. Uh, but I mean, if I do get more wallets, they will be going here and then I'll probably put the bracelets in the back. But that's what it looks like with all the wallets and then the bracelets. And yeah, so I'm gonna close this and then moving on to the next section right here. So these shoes, as I talked about, uh, the Sophia Webster, these are them right here. These were the ones that I purchased. So I loved them. I think I'm gonna bring these out during springtime, summer, and they'll be so cute, but um, just very custom and different looking shoes. And I love them. They are so girly and I think they're gonna be just so cute for springtime, so. I like displaying them too because they're so pretty. And then back there, you know, my obsession with pineapples as I talked about. So that box is from HomeSense. And then we have a little unicorn right there because I love unicorns. This book right here is from Amazon. And then Vogue I got from Indigo. And then also just a day planner below that. And of course, you know, I love my makeup, especially Too Faced. I think they have some of the prettiest makeup to display. So the little display here I got off Amazon. And then we have some Too Faced highlighters. New collection of glosses from the Pretty Rich collection. 
so beautiful. I'm like obsessed with these glosses. So yeah, I just, I knew that I was going to display them, which I think this little um, tray that I got here, and I think it was only 10 or $15 on Amazon was the perfect little thing to have um, for displaying some makeup. Okay, so I just had to Google the name of this bag. As I said, I'm so bad with names. So it is called the Gucci Pink uh, GG Mermont. And it's the large one that I got. They do have a mini one as well. And this bag I love. I wore it a lot when I was living in Vancouver. Um, and I'll show you the back. It actually is very unique and different. That's why I bought it. Because I've never really been a fan of Gucci. But when I saw the heart, I just thought that was so pretty and custom. Um, I also love the gold chain here. You can wear it as a short bag or a shoulder bag. So just to take it off my shelf and show you the length and like what it looks like. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a full handbag collection video. So you'll see more of me wearing the bag and the sizes, the inside, and everything like that. Show you what it looks like. And yeah, that is that whole section there. And then on this side here, I just have a ton of makeup. And like I said, in the drawers, I'll do that in a whole nother video for you. And okay. So this next row right here is my Chanel. So everything is Chanel. Um, the same print that I showed you on the other side, the illustration is by the same person. So I'll try my best to find it and link it down below for you. But it's a little Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. It's so pretty. And then right here we have the Skull and Candy brush holder with my new brushes. So I'm launching these very soon on Valentine's Day, the Marble Rose Gold collection. And then these are just so Barbie. I really, really love these ones too. They're my favorite. So that is why I have them displayed up here and then the actual frames which I don't think I mentioned are from indigo right here getting into one of my favorite bags so this right here is the jumbo beige uh, Chanel and it's my only Chanel bag and it's also the silver hardware which I really wanted gold but I might, I don't know, I might invest into a pink uh, Chanel, and if I do, I'd get the gold hardware. So I've been on the hunt for that. But anyways, it's got like the big long chain uh, back here, which is amazing, and you can wear these as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag as well. I don't really like wearing it as a crossbody. I'd probably only wear it as a shoulder bag, but I have seen people do that. But I really, really love the look of this bag. It's just classic. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's my only Chanel, so I keep it in pristine mint condition. It's usually just sitting up here. I don't really use it all that often. Um, I have used it a few times though. And then the next row we have my Louis Vuitton and I think this was my first bag with Louis Vuitton and it's a rose ballerine and I love this bag. It's the Alma and they have like the little one as well. I think it's called like the Alma BB, but I got the large one. And then this bag here is the second Gucci bag that I bought and have. Um, so it's the studded one and it's super, super heavy and luxe. And I love, it's so different than what I would typically be attracted to or buy, but it just something about it was so different and unique and custom. And the belt in the front here is just amazing. Um, so I really, really, really love the fact that I bought this bag and I have kept it in mint condition. It is suede, which scares me. It's really easy to get dirty, but um, I do love it. It's definitely a classic bag. Okay, and above that, I have my first Henry Bendel bag and it's probably my largest bag as well. And it's a really pale pink and it's the perfect like travel bag if you want like a big bag and you carry a lot. Um, and I haven't shopped at Henry Bendel in a long time, but I do really, really love their handbag, especially if you weren't getting high, high end. Um, I would definitely recommend Henry Bendel to you. Next to that, I just have that flower bomb set that I got from, uh, from Christmas and they have some of the nicest packaging. So I wanted to display that nice box. And then right over here on this side, which is by my windows, uh, I just have this little bench that I got from HomeSense and like a little fur rug that I put on top. And this right here, I get lots of questions on this. I actually picked this up from uh, Marshalls and it's just a really, really cute acrylic display. And it was expensive, but I really, really think his it's come in handy and it's just really beautiful. And I just have a few things in here right now, like pixie makeups, my new launches on Valentine's Day, um, which I will be sharing with you in a brand new video. And then right in the bottom, I have a Chanel book. I have these really pretty shoes that I got from my brother's fiance and they are, they are Kate Spade. And I also love uh, the satin shoelaces. I think that's so pretty. And she actually got my girls the same ones. So we're going to be matching. They're just so cute though. And then right here, I just have this pixie um, travel case, which I took that to Vancouver re recently on the girl's first trip. And then just some pixie makeup and then some of my new launches, another pineapple. Cause you guys know, I love my pineapples and right here we have my camera. So Ryan actually got me this, uh, the 5d Mark 
and um, I love it. It's an amazing camera. I take a lot of my photos with that. And then right over here, so this bear right here is from Vaney, and I'll leave a link down below on her Instagram. They are so beautiful, these little bears. And I have the pink one as well, and they're just so cute to take with like your baby girls, or um, even if you wanted to display them in your beauty room. And I just think they are a beautiful piece of decor to have, and that will last a really, really long time just like my Venus at Floor. So I got this pretty recently for our Valentine's Day shoot and it's beautiful dried roses and they last over a year and they smell heavenly. Like my entire beauty room smells so good right now and I just, I love it. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. And then also right here, um, I found these, I looked up designer books on Etsy and I found this girl's page and she makes these and they're beautiful. So I ended up getting this set here, which is the Louis Vuitton in gold and then the Chanel in marble and pink and then the Gucci in gold and marble. So I'll leave a link down below on her Etsy shop. Um, and I fell in love with these books. I think they're so gorgeous to display and I just think this whole area turned out very nicely. I'm just really, really loving everything that I picked up because at first I was like, what am I going to put on this bench? I had no idea. I was very lost. And then I, yeah, no, I really like it. I think it looks really good. And then right in the center of my room, I have, uh, this big, rug that I bought from Home Sense, and it's really, really hard to find ones this large, um, but it's the largest one that I could find, so I ended up buying it. And then right here, I get tons of questions on my mirror, so I actually got this off of Wayfair. So I'll leave the link down below, and I love the top of the mirror here, like that Victorian style. It's so, so pretty. And this is just to show you what the room looks like from this angle. Just makes the room look so much bigger too. So I've got like my vanity on this side here, which you guys have seen. And then on the back wall, I have all of my Ikea packs. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the way that I filmed my closet tour. And it took me so long just because I wanted to really, really go into depth on everything that I have. Now, if you do have any questions or I didn't link something, just let me know in the comments down below. I usually always get back to you guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. And it was really, really fun to do. And I also have a handbag collection coming soon since I do want to get into more like fashion on this channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you again for being subscribed. Go head on over to my vlog channel because I'm going to have a new vlog going up. And I will see you guys in my next video.